what is up everybody welcome to today's video if you crave a high energy deep conversation and not like the shallow ones that modern society promotes and has without even consciously knowing then you're gonna enjoy this video stay till the end because it gets even better at the end this man drops so many golden nuggets, so don't just watch, but listen to what he actually says and internalize the value behind the words he's saying. Let's get it. Did you always have this mindset or what influenced you to start thinking like this, man? Well, life, period. You know, life, yeah. my situation, okay, I grew up in the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? And it's different out there than it is in any part of this world. No, it's facts, man. Seriously, you know what I'm saying? Man, A lot of stuff originated from there. Style, hip-hop, lifestyles, and all of that stuff came from there. And I lived in that era. For sure. You know what I'm saying? It was in, a lot of, in manifestation, law of attraction? I do all of that all the time. 100%. Have you ever manifested something into your life? Yeah. What have you manifested? The next day. That I'm making I love that, the next day. <laughs> yeah. It feels like you're telling me how I'm feeling, and if I'm smiling, if I'm happy, if I'm in a joy place. I'm living. <laughs> That's like you, all life, like you stopped me and you was like, you listening to your music, I got meditation music on now. Yes, sir. Yes, everything sir. is beautiful. Yes, sir. It's a different vibe. You with nature, the trees and everything is loving you when you on that type of frequency. 100%. When you're not on that frequency, it's just when you're dumbfounded, you're walking around kicking rocks. How do you raise your frequency? I stay humble. You st uh, so humility is the key to raising Well, there's people. meditations, there's yes, good sir. quotes, there's yes, things that's beautiful like nature that keeps you on a higher spirit. The yes, trees sir. keep you on a higher spirit. Like I said, breathing and loving yourself keeps you on a higher spirit. Facts. It's not about what everybody else thinks about you because then you're living in their misery. Facts, man. I learned that in the last couple of months even harder going through a situation that had to bring me from where I was at to bring me up. Yeah. So yes, I'm in a happy joy because I live to do it another day. That's real deep, man. I can tell you're a very insightful and well thought out person, man. That's, you're blessing so many people with your with your knowledge, man. A lot of people gonna benefit from this. Were you ever in love, and how did that feel? I was always in love. It depends on what you in love with. A woman. Um. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of love I'm talking about. Yeah. Today. Yeah. And what did a that good feel? One. Uh, really? Uh, what did that feel like, man? It felt like the best thing on earth. Really? The best emotion you've ever I mean, you've ever because it brings out a better you. You want to be better yourself to be better for that person. Yeah. So it makes you want to be a better man so you can know how to treat a woman better. No and sense. it should be vice versa. Once she, once you put out, she puts out, and then y'all got it together. Y'all building it together. It's not a him or her or her or him. It's us together. We unite to build up together. We live off each other to make each other stronger. No, for sure. You know, and then you got that love, you got that unity, yes, you got sir. that understanding. My thought is your thought. Yeah, I got that for you, Ma, right here. You want this, that, you know what I mean? Let me do this for you, let me rub your feet. And you know, however the situation yes, went sir. down. You know, and you love to do that because you feel good about yourself. You got a good woman. 100%. But it's also how you've been raised. A lot of people ain't been raised with that same comfort in knowing how to treat a woman. Yeah. You understand Man, what I'm crazy, saying, bro? Now I gotta process it, bro. This is a lot of this is a lot of wisdom and knowledge you throw in my <laughs> he way, said bro. I so. gotta process. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, thing similar to you. Well, you know, I lost the best friend in my life, the creator of my life, which was my mom. You know, let her rest in peace. And that was rest back in 2015. So when I lost that, that cloud just grew over the top of me. You're never gonna forget your creator. Because there's no one else in this world that's going to love you more than your mother loves you. I have a question for you, man. Mm -hmm. How do you, when your mind says, when you speak to yourself negatively, you're like, damn, man, I suck at this, or why didn't I do that? How do you switch from negative self-talk well, to loving self-talk well, in a realistic never, manner? You never supposed to say anything bad about yourself. Yeah. yeah because your body true. don't relate to that. Remember, your body's on a, a, a different frequency. Once you stay up, you keep your body at that level. Yeah. You never bring yourself down. You never say, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. Just rephrase the way you put it out there because you're putting yourself as being sorry. You never contradict yourself with anything negative. You live your life always righteous. I am this person that's gonna do this. I'm gonna get up tomorrow, I'm gonna rock, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get this much money whatever it is that you need to do you're gonna so do true. so that that's why deep. when you have to look into yourself when you feeling down you have to look for things that incite your mind because the more bad things you think about the more dirt that you keep around you you're never gonna grow you're just soil 
just dry dirt. And our mind is so fertile. Whatever you plant in it, if it's a thought, if it's a word, if it's anything, it'll grow, whether that's good or bad. Like, and yeah. the love, more love and affection that you show that thing, it yeah. grows better than you think it would. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Wow, man, you put me on blast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 49, I'll be 50. No way. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, I'll be 50 in. And... You look, you look good for your age, Thank sir. Thank you, brother. Man, 40, 50 years old? 50, I yeah. thought you were like in your late 30s. Nah, I, I remember when I was in my late 30s. Sheesh, you could be my old father, <laughs> man. <laughs> Damn, you, that's no wonder you got so much wisdom, man. Yeah. If you could go back and talk to your 22 year old, year old self, mm -hmm. what would you tell him? That the future is what you make it to be. What do you mean by that? I mean, if you start at an early age with your potentials and your dreams, by the time you reach my level, you succeed in those dreams. You know what I mean? And those missions and what you want to be. Like you said, knowledge knowledge comes through years of experience. Mm. I mean, you could read a lot but still don't know it because you ain't never experienced what you're talking about. Exactly. Or the knowledge that you have. Exactly, man. You know, it takes your heart to get band-aid up, stitched up, and all of that for it to still be and for you to be that stronger person. Do you believe knowledge is power? I believe the universe is power. The power comes within you and what you apply to the universe. Application, man. Application. You can know everything. It if you works. Don't apply it. It's like the infinity sign. Yeah. Goes around, comes around. That's yes, it. Sir. It's yes, like sir. karma. Once you live in good karma, good karma comes back to you. Regardless to where you at or what position you in. That's why they say your words got to be impeccable. You have to speak. Man, that is so crazy you said that because I was going to reference the four agreements because mm -hmm. I read that book mm -hmm. last week, I'm mm -hmm. chapter two. Mm -hmm. And that's why I really put emphasis on the word. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say to you, I was mm -hmm. like, I don't know if you read that book. You mm -hmm. read that book, Four Agreements. No. Nah, no. That's what it says. One of the w chapters of that book is your word is be impeccable with your word. Yeah. Meaning everything, us, we have pure magic and we have black magic. We can bless somebody, we could curse somebody just mm -hmm. with one word, word if they accept it. See, your word is, is like a soul. Yeah. Right? Exactly, you know, man. I can cut exactly, you. I yeah. can defeat you with just words. Yeah. That's why a lot of people get mad when you call people a certain word because words hurt. No facts. Because there's a lot of meaning behind And I learned that the hard way. Mm. <laughs> what, was your, what was your name? Juju. Yes, sir. I Juju up in the building. Juju, yes, sir. It's crazy, man, how you meet somebody mm. and complete stranger cross paths mm -hmm. and my energy is uplifted by your wisdom and uh, hopefully it's a reciprocated, yeah, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's it's crazy, a good thing. It's a good it's, thing. It's a crazy. I mean, reciting and, and letting it out is even more better than just listening to your own, you know what I'm saying, conscience. Because sometimes nobody's, they can hear you, but they won't understand you. Wow. They can hear you, but they don't understand you, man. I appreciate right, you, brother. brother. Say, say what's up to the family. Yo, you too, family. Be safe, man. Straight you from Juju, brother. <laughs>